Took you 30 minutes to come out of the room, bro. What's going on? Hey, I don't know why would you when I, do, I You know when I call you, you when like I call you, you got you got 10 seconds. Do me like that. I don't understand. What's, <laughs> what's up, Magic? Hey, how what's up, what's up, Magic? What's up, you? Huh? Boy, you been in my A for a couple of days. Yo, hey, looking good, boy. Looking good, boy. You been working out? Of course. Cream got the white beat on. Brand new, brand new pants. Of course. Huh? Yeah. But that's polo too. Let me see that polo sign. Yeah, it's it polo. Yeah. Let me find out you done bagged you one. Got, the, got some money. I do what I do. You do what you do. I do what I do. So what you doing out here today? What we got okay. going on? Just chilling, man. I know I ain't, I ain't I lost the other phone. You know what I'm saying? Well, somebody stole it, so got another one. As soon as I did, called my man's. No, no, I ain't heard from you in three days. Nah, I called you, bro. I ain't heard from you since your court date. Hey, man, no, bro. I'm calling you. I called you, man. You go to court? I got to sleep as a... Of course. Yeah. Ain't, ain't I, I, seen, I seen that you went... I seen that somebody went to court. I, I, know, I know you court date. I was like, man, I hope you ain't ducking me for that, man. Uh, but it's all good. We locked in, man. Uh, you know what kind of channel I got, man. I got a dish channel, man. Let's talk about these addictions out here on these shoes and how we're going to help the people, man. Let me tell you something. I've been doing all right. I've been doing all right. I've really slowed down, you know? I'm really I'm, slowed down. In the last three days? I've been slowed down. Because I mean, I just did remember what you went KD three days ago. Yeah, but I wasn't really. No, you was turned. Oh, no, you was turned. You, I mean, you was turned like a motherfucker. Yeah, but I wasn't really. You was on 10. No, sir. Oh, you was on 10. I've never been on 10 with her. Oh, well, she, I can't get past five with her. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe her attitude and with your made, made, made it look like I was on 10, but goddamn, there was a lot going on. She came again the other night. Yeah, I talked to her. I had two faces she is. But I talked to her last, I, I, look, I look, uh, went over there last night and did an interview with her. She got the uh, dude Keith over there with the little challenge. I mean, yeah, the challenge and all of them over there. And uh, uh, Crystal was over I there. I talked to Crystal, man. You know, I, I apologize to Crystal. You know, uh, my bad, I'm sorry. You yeah, know, we ain't worried about, about none of that. Yeah, we we, 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 we want to talk still, about this addiction. though, what I'm doing, though, is I'm trying to, all the bad I've done, or the, the, the stuff I've done to people. Yeah. You know, every time, when I see them now, I'll be like, yo, you know, I'm sorry, and uh, you know, I apologize. I'm, why, saying, I'm sorry, why, why, I apologize. Why, 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 what, 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 what's not got into you that make you want to be this uh, this kind of person to ask for forgiveness and apologize? Is it because you knew you was wrong at the time, and then you're in a better place? Some of it I was what, what, wrong. What's going on? Some of it I was wrong, and some of it I wasn't. Uh, but anyway, you got to look at the part you played in. Yeah. See, me, me being out here, me being out here in general, anything can happen. And you know, I'm playing a part in it. Anything that happened out here when you're dealing with these drugs, I'm playing a part in it. Right. Because if I wasn't out here, if I wasn't out here, and I was living a natural, uh, wholesome life, working, going home, right. this kind of stuff don't happen. Man, I'm I, did, them kind of I did an interview. I'm getting to, them kind of I did an interview things. earlier with VC. And the, the guy that Black VCI was over there, and uh, he said he knew you from, from prison, and he said you owe, you owe him. Uh, on forty dollars now. I forgot, what the fuck is that nigga name? Dark skin nigga, slim nigga, young kind of young boy. We rapping yeah. and shit. Uh, and what's that nigga name? I forgot that nigga name, man. I just, I just did an interview with him, er, but with him at VC earlier. But yeah, he said you said you was a stand up dude on the yard. Of course. So you stand up dude on the yard. Stand up dude out here, man. I just mind my business. You know what I'm saying? I, I do that in prison. I, you know, uh, I, I just had a thing I do every day. What I did the day before, I do the next day. What, 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 was, your, what, was, your, what was your what was your daily regimen in prison? Um, I get up, I pray. Uh, I get up, I pray. Uh, I might go back to reading. Uh, I might go out there and work out. Yeah, I might work out before. You all ate, so you don't go eat breakfast? Yeah, I eat breakfast. I got to eat breakfast because I'm ready to work out and stuff. You know, uh, and then in the afternoon, I'm on that basketball court. I'll be in that basketball court about three hours, two, three hours out there. I play the ball. And then after that, man, I might do me a last little workout, man. I'm going in. Going in? Yeah. Read something, watch TV? I read, yeah. I mean, flirt, flirt, I flirt, 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 flirt with the female CEO. You gotta read that. Uh, you, have, you, have bad, you have bad CEO? Yeah. You a motherfucking liar. Yeah, I do that all the time. You ain't that bad, no CEO. Man, you see how I am out here. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I, you gotta leave. Here, you gotta leave. You. Hey, look, you gotta leave. Hey, look, I don't know if you have or not. But listen, the, but you, gotta be, the, hey, look, you gotta be special to back a CEO, though. I'm special. It's a whole lot of niggas trying to shoot up them all the time. I'm more than you gotta separate yourself from everybody else, cause yeah, she yeah. she get she get she get attention from fifteen hundred per people every day. So she can choose really choose anybody on the yard. Bruh. So why she gonna choose you, Mike? When I put that old that old canteen cologne on, <laughs> <laughs> that canteen cologne, haircut and everything. Yeah. I know what to tell her. Uh -huh. I tell her what she wanna hear, man. Yeah. I just tell her what she wanna hear, man. And then you gotta listen. You can't talk too much, man. You gotta listen to her. She got a lot of stress to get off, a lot of stuff to get off her right. chest. Yeah. The next thing you know, oh my God, OMG. Listen, P.O.? No. 
I'm just talking about, oh, that's what, she'll be bringing me something. I know I got it in. She give me one thing, I got it. One thing, I got it. She get, hand me one thing, I got it. Right. See, I got it. What, she get your request for him? No. <laughs> <laughs> she got to give you something she's supposed to give you. Exactly. Or, tell you, do it. or start telling you things that she's supposed to tell you. She's going to do it. Huh? I don't care about that. Yeah, I'm yeah. I don't hear that shit. Now, once they start talking about their personal life with you? As an yeah, inmate? If they tell me the personal life, then I'm listening to it. Yeah. It's over. Yeah, and I'm it's trying over. to give her advice, you know, and I'm trying to help her. I'm going to listen still? and be a friend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Till I can uh, get right. Do you use that same strategy out here, on, on, out here uh, with the people that get high? Yeah, I tell them what they want to hear. Hmm. You know, tell them how nice they look. I don't be lying all the time, though. You know, what, what I do tell them women out here, uh, I tell them stuff to encourage them, man. Good at self esteem. I be playing with Dominique. Well, how, well, Dominique. Hey, hey, I tell you what I want you to do. It's a lot of women on my channel mm -hmm. that like you. It's a lot of, women, a lot of people on my channel that's insecure, got low self esteem. They might not say it, but it's, insecurities are everywhere. Uh, we, to, everybody got them. So I want, you, I want you to do something in this interview by making the ladies feel cool, Mike. I want you, I want you all ladies to uh, always remember you got something to offer the world. You know, you're special. You know, and you got to look at yourself in the mirror every morning. You got to tell yourself you're beautiful. That's what you got to do. You know, it, you know, beauty comes from inside and out. You know, you just got to tell yourself you're beautiful, man, because you are. You are. You got a lot to offer the world. You know, we need you. We need strong women like you. You are strong. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing out here, even if it's drugs, you, you got to be a strong person to be out here. Them ladies got to be strong to endure what they endure. So you know, I've, I, yeah. I, 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 even, even even the ones that ain't, ain't on the street, some of them, yeah. some of them even in their work, their work environment, yeah. at their job, yeah, you, I, I or in really, their household, they might be in a household yeah. with a man that's, that's talking down on them. Yeah, you know, but they, you, they still gotta know that you hey, you can't listen to them. You are you are appreciated. Yeah, you are pretty. You can't listen to them, man. You're beautiful. All right. You know, and you just gotta tell yourself that every day. Don't worry about what another dude say say to you. You just gotta tell yourself you, you, you're beautiful, man. Yeah. And you are. That's right. I'm gonna tell you that. All y'all beautiful to me. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> y'all here, Mike.